Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Fitzpatrick. Some of you know me as Dr. Lisa on the street. And I've just come in from talking to people about Omicron. So I wanna clear up a few things. What I'm gonna talk about in this video is about why we're seeing Omicron, how long it'll last, and what you can do to protect yourself and your family from the Omicron variant. What is Omicron? Apparently some people haven't been following the news and we're not aware we're dealing with the new variant. Now, although we're seeing a lot of the Omicron variant, the Delta variant is still out there. So what is Omicron compared to Delta? Omicron is simply a new mutation. So maybe you've heard us talk about the need to stop transmission of coronavirus. As long as coronavirus is still circulating, people getting infected with coronavirus and getting COVID-19, the virus will, will mutate because that's what viruses do. Their purpose in life is to find a host, copy themselves over and over and over. That's what makes people sick. So if you come in contact with coronavirus, it gets in your body, starts to replicate itself. And once it gets to a high enough number, it can make you sick. The only way to stop the variants, because Omicron probably won't be the last variant, but the only way to stop the variants is to stop transmission of coronavirus. Should you be worried about the Omicron variant? Yes, we should all be worried about it because even though it causes milder infection, it's still very transmissible. So compared to Delta and some of the other variants, you can, if you get COVID-19 from the Omicron variant, you can infect many more people potentially than if you had the Delta variant. So it's spread very easily. And this means that people who may have a weaker immune system than you might get COVID-19 from the Omicron variant and it lands them in the hospital. So we should still be vigilant, mask wearing, but make sure your mask is tight against your face and cover your nose because the virus, you can exhale it and it could still escape through your mask. So masking is still very, very useful, especially when you're in a crowded place or in an indoor space and you don't know the people you're around. We also still have to continue washing our hands. We've forgotten about this a little bit, but when you sneeze and cough, some of that can still get on your hands. And sometimes we just wipe our face without thinking about it. Touch our phones, touch doorknobs, all that's still relevant. So hand hygiene is still important. So yes, you should still be worried about it because until we stop transmission of coronavirus, we will still see uh, high rates of infection, and we will still see mutations. Do the vaccines work against Omicron? Well, it turns out if you've had the J&J &J shot or the two-shot vaccines, they don't work as well unless you get a booster. I know there's a lot of skepticism about this. People think we're pushing vaccines and boosters down people's throats. And I know there's a lot of distrust in science right now. And we'll have to talk about that. But to answer the question, this person asked me, does my vaccine work? Does my vaccine work? Yes, it still works some, but your best protection is going to be to get the booster. And right behind that, the question was, well, but I'm young and I take my vitamins and I drink sea moss and I don't think I need a vaccine. Most of the people who are in the ICUs now and dying of COVID-19 are people who haven't gotten vaccinated. So have you ever had a vaccine in childhood? Why are we treating COVID-19, these vaccines, in a different way? Why do we think about them in a different way than other vaccines when the same way they were developed was the same way we've developed other vaccines. Yes, it did go faster, but we're in a global pandemic. And look at the power of what our government can do to eliminate bureaucracy when there's a public health emergency. Another topic we can keep talking about, but at the end of the day, your best protection 
for you and your family is to get vaccinated. Why would I bother getting vaccinated if we keep getting these variants or if I can still get COVID-19? This is probably the most common question I'm getting right now. The purpose of the vaccine is to allow your body to mount a response if you come in contact with the germ. So not just COVID-19 or coronavirus, but any germ. So any vaccine you get, the whole purpose of it is to show your body what that germ looks like so that it can prepare in the event you encounter the real thing to protect you. But that takes some time. So you can still come in contact with coronavirus and you might get a sniffle or you might feel a little sick or you might not have any symptoms, but you can still exhale or sneeze or cough that onto someone else. You won't get sick or if you do get sick, you'll have a mild infection because your body now can recognize the virus and produce a response to protect you from getting sick. So that's why you should get vaccinated. It's not about not getting COVID. So COVID won't bounce off you like some sort of bulletproof vest just because you've had a vaccine. But once it gets inside, if it gets inside, your body then is prepared to fight it off. Will the test still work if I have Omicron? Yes because Omicron is a variant or a mutation of the original SARS-CoV-2 strain. So when you get a mutation or a change in the virus of some kind, it doesn't change the entire virus. So it's still a SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's just a, a cousin or it's similar, but it may behave in a different way. So yes, the test can pick up the coronavirus, that's the Omicron variant because it's still coronavirus and the elements you're looking for with the tests are still there. But the rapid test is different than what we call the PCR test. The PCR test is the one that takes two to three days to come back. It has to go out to a lab. They have to do a series of tests on it. And that's why it takes so long to get the result. But the rapid test, those tests can be negative even though you have COVID-19. So that's something to know. So if you're traveling and you're relying on a rapid test, it's really important for you to get tested two, three, maybe four days in a row looking for uh, the virus. Because if you don't have symptoms or you don't have enough uh, coronavirus in your body, that test could be negative. So... It's a good idea if you have symptoms or if you've had an exposure, you can get a rapid test, but it's important to get a PCR. And in the meantime, wear your mask and be smart. Wash your hands, P pay attention to who you're around, especially if you're around older people in your life or people who have chronic health conditions that might be at risk for a coronavirus infection because you wouldn't wanna pass it to them and then have them have a bad outcome. You have more questions about this? Leave them below and we'll try to get to as many of your questions as we can.